since I've been absent from YouTube these past few months, I've been spending a lot of time with my family, and I was going through some of our photos from my trip to Disneyland, and I went a little bit further back, and I found some footage from the Oregon Zoo that I'd taken. I'm like, this would make some great B-roll. Just for something simple to do over the holidays, I'm going to do the word zoo. So let's take a look at that. Zoo. Noun. A place housing a variety of animals, primarily for display to the public. Sometimes used metaphorically to describe a wild or crazy situation. History and etymology. Obviously the word zoo comes from zoology, but let's take a deeper look. Prior to the 1800s, establishments like zoos that allow the public access to viewing animals wasn't really super necessary. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, most people lived further from cities and closer to the wilderness. As the Industrial Revolution was winding down around the 1840s, many people had already moved into the cities and had very few interactions with animals of any kind other than pets and service animals like horses. It was around this time that the Zoological Society of London was putting together a little project they called a zoological garden. It originally opened purely for the scientific community in 1828, but due to its popularity and the addition of the menagerie from the Tower of London made it obvious that they needed to open to the public, and that's what they did in 1847. Of course, the name Zoological Garden was a bit of a mouthful, and I'm fairly certain a lot of the clientele from the public were children. It didn't take long for that name to get shortened down to simply Zoo. With the popularization of other similar attractions, such as the Clifton Zoo and the song Walking in the Zoo, this shorthand for Zoological Garden quickly became the standard terminology for this kind of attraction. Zoo is a great example of how difficult it is to control language. I am certain that the Zoological Society of London would have much preferred that the establishment's name remain the Gardens of the Zoological Society of London, but alas, when words are given to a free people, they become their own thing and begin to take on a life of their own. Prescription and Commentary So. This is the third time I've tried recording the prescription and commentary segment for this video. Initially, according to the Wikipedia article, um, there were certain zoos, primarily the ones in New York and Washington, D.C., that wanted to change their names to things such as Ecological Park, or Biopark, or Preservation Park, or things along those lines. The only reference I could find to any of those was on that Wikipedia page. So, where I wanted to go with this was kind of where I wanted to point this channel more in this coming year, is you, you can't legislate, you can't control which direction language is going to go. Because we still use the word zoo. And I really want that to be the focus going forward this year is the anarchic nature of the order that is language. There's really no central or organizing body that decides what language should be, how it should be used. We have organizations that try, and even if you look at some of those that people look at as trying to control language, like dictionaries, they don't really try and their goal isn't to tell you how language is supposed to be used. Their goal is to tell you how language is being used. Now, if those organizations are embedded within an establishment, they may lean towards whatever the prescribed usage of a word is. So, the fact that these zoos are part of the establishment of usually their public organizations run by the government in some form or fashion, they would want to disassociate themselves from what they the common idea of a zoo is, where animals are mistreated and just on put on for show. 
but they can't control the language. People are still going to call them zoos because that's the word we use, is zoo. So that's really all I have to say for this video. Um, expect a couple more political videos coming up. I've got socialism mostly written. I just need to record, edit, and I think I'm going to look into nationalism, but between those two, we'll probably do a couple more filler words similar to this one. So, thank you for watching. If you feel like helping me out, you can go over to lexikickographer.com. The link is down below. You can support me. I'm still on Patreon, and I'm also on Subscribestar and the others, um, but don't know if I will be on Patreon for long because, well, I'm I've got nothing to lose there at the moment. So, thank you, and see you next time. Till next time, keep on learning.